Hey y'all, so I just watched the new Justice League movie, the animated joint, Crisis on Infinite Earths, part one. I know a lot of people ain't really talking about the DC Tomorrowverse, but I think I just like to spit a few points here and there. There's a lot of stuff that I like about it, like, Tomorrowverse so far has really not been good to me, like, don't get me wrong, Tomorrowverse, like, uh, Man of Tomorrow was very, very good. Uh, the Long Halloween was was very good. I'm noticing they're doing a lot of two-parters in this universe. And it's not like it matters. This universe kind of came and went, didn't it? It's, it case kind of... They had the Green Lantern joint. They had a uh, League of Superheroes, but it didn't have the League of Superheroes in it. It was just Supergirl and Brainiac, who are wholesome, but... Just fucking who cares? <laughs> we had that Justice Society movie, which honestly, look, man, it's, honestly, that could have that movie could have been better to me. And also, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. We had we had like those four. No wait, we had three. We had like those four things. We had Green Lantern, Superman, Batman, and League of Superheroes, all up to this point. And I was when I first heard that they were doing like a Crisis thing, I was like, is it a little soon to do Crisis joint? But now I realize, oh yeah, um, James Gunn owns DC now, so they're probably not gonna do like they're probably not gonna do like some DC stuff. But at the same time, I don't think he's gonna stop making like I don't think DC is gonna stop making animated DC movies because I think James Gunn understands that niche of what makes these movies really good. And um, but anyway, back to the movie. So Barry Allen is like being dragged across realities right i think in my fair opinion i think this is barry allen reliving like his whole life is flashing before his eyes right before he sacrifices himself to save the universe if i'm not mistaken and i if they're doing that that would be kind of weird because it's just like bro why are they spoiling in it but i think they really did it well here um i shit for once we get a, a decent flash movie for once like it's ironic because you know like Iris plays a big part in this movie, bro, and it's like, you know, Kirstie Clemens, she didn't show up in a lot in the Flash movie, she just kind of, like, said hi to Barry, like, they had no fucking, they had no chemistry, she had no chemistry with Ezra Miller whatsoever, but I think the moments they had in this movie in particular was really good, I really loved how they, um, did it, I'm just happy Fl Iris is a decent character for once, I'm happy that, you know, she's written well, you know, <laughs> you know, several seasons of The Flash would do that, um, we get a lot of stuff like him in the crime syndicate universe from, like, the, uh, Crisis on Two Earths movie, so, evil Justice League, basically, and, not gonna lie, bro, they made them dumb as fuck in this, like, they see, like, cause, like, Crisis is coming, right, planets are being destroyed by this big-ass, universal wave of death and the crime syndicate's first idea is to just say hey let's throw shit at it <laughs> and so no surprise it doesn't work they fucking die i like how owl man doesn't even bother to call out that retarded ass idea because i feel like you know we already know he's a nihilist and even though even if they could solve that problem he doesn't it doesn't matter he's a nihilist <laughs> It's not, it doesn't matter. The world's gonna get destroyed. Who cares? Anyway, um, there's a lot to talk about. Um, Amazo, um, Amazo was pretty well done in this also, which is, like, very rare to see. I did get, like, Ultron vibes, but, eh, I didn't feel like it was that much of a ripoff. I, I'm disappointed we never got to see him use his powers, because, like, Amazo is fucking powerful, like, in all comics. Like, you know, People underestimate how powerful Amazo is, because he's like a robot, he's like Ultron, but like, he can literally steal the Justice League's powers, and like, he does this in a movie, but it's like, very for like a short moment, because like, Flash does his usual thing, you know, he does his talk no jutsu, says, you don't have to do this, and you know, he talks him out of killing people, and uh, it just feels anticlimactic. He does fight people, but we never get to see him use the Justice League's powers. It's never like that, um... It's never like that justice, it's, it's not like that like Young Justice episode where he uses his powers against the team. 
that would have been fun. But no, it's just like he gets talked out of it, and ugh, I hate these moments, man. I hate when the hero just talks the villain down because it's just like, oh, you're using your words, cool. It's not like I wanted to watch a superhero movie to see a villain and the characters fight. No. All in all, you know, I feel like this movie's fine. It's not really, it's not something I'm going to remember in the past few months. Hey, it's better than Echo, and hey, and mm, I feel like DC's going to catch up with Marvel, man. The quality is there. They just have to get the right people around it. And, you know, as far as these movies go, Christ, you could skip, man, you could skip from uh, Green Lantern and all that shit. You can watch Man of Tomorrow, Long Halloween, and uh, just skip straight to this movie, and there will probably be no problems. War World literally amounted to nothing. That movie went fucking nowhere, and I don't even know what happened. I think Mongol kidnapped them, and I don't know, Wonder Woman was a cowgirl, and Batman was like a caveman. I, what were the writers smoking? I don't know. You could literally just skip you can literally just skip everything and just from Batman and Superman to this movie, nothing will matter. Anyways, yeah, um, Justice League Crisis on Two Crisis on Infinite Earths Part One. I will give it a I don't know. I'd give it a. I'm not gonna give it a high rating. I'll give it a five out of ten. It's pretty interesting. You know, it it did make me go to sleep. I was invested. I'm not really curious on where the other parts are going to go, since it's not a one-for-one a -one adaptation, so expect plenty of shit. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know where these movies are going. But, yeah, that's all I got for today. Um, that was my review for Justice League, Crisis on Infinite Earths. This has been DH Nation. Take care of yourselves. And each other. Make sure to check out the ongoing series Red Dragonfly. It's available to read on Wattpad and it was one of my favorite stories to write. Read them all. Link will be in the description.